Okay, this uh, how-to video is gonna go through the Import File Manager that's available in all of the Cadence PCB tools, so all CAD PCB Designer Standard all the way up to the Allegro PCB Designer tools. And what this does is um, give you a method to kind of have a notification of when you're getting um, any files that you need to import into the, the board, whether they've been updated or not. So um, we'll have a quick look at the, the tool first. If we go to Tools and Import File Manager, you'll see effectively the Import File Manager option, and, and these are the type of file formats that it's looking for. So we can look for logic like netlist files, um, we've got an IPC2581 and then the MCAD files IDX, IDF and DXF. And you can basically configure these and enable these to which ones you want to use. Literally by kind of like, if we if you left click on, on the, the, the folder, you can browse where the default fo uh, file locations are going to be for all of these types. Um, and then what we can do is we can actually, for the logic, so you see I've got a directory here, I'm looking for DAT files, this was the last time it was imported, but let's just import it now. So we'll click on import and it'll bring up the import logic. So we can then import the netlist and that sets the timing location for the, for the effectively um, the, the, the import location. So if we go to import file manager, that was the last time and date that it was imported. So there are a couple of user preferences we can set for this. If we go to setup and user preferences, um, if we go to file management and miscellaneous, we've got an import file alarm enable. So we'll enable the alarm and we can specify a time interval. By the default is about 10 minutes. Um, the minimum is a minute, the maximum is 720 minutes. In this example, I'm just gonna set it for three minutes. Um, you do need to restart the tools afterwards though once you've set these values. So, so what I'll do is I'll actually go to the schematic. Uh, let's go to the top level and I'm just gonna make a, a, a change to my, my design, my netlist effectively. So I'm just gonna copy and paste a, a capacitor. And then what we'll do is we'll wire this up and we'll recreate the netlist. So this could be done by you know your electrical engineer or your PCB designer still working on his design, etc. Um, so we'll just save the design and the electrical engineer then creates his netlist. So once the netlist is done, we effectively we go back to the board. Um, and then we're waiting for the alarm. So the PCB designer can carry on working with the design until effectively he'll see an alarm notification. So it was a three minute time interval that we set. So we'll wait for three minutes and then uh, you should see the notification. So the input file alarm comes up. It says there's some new CAD data available. It tells me what the, the type is. Um, there's a new uh, xnet.dat file, so we can then um, we can either remind me later if he's in the middle of doing something critical. You can disable the alarm. We can launch the manager. This will then launch the manager. We can then click on import and then import the new netlist. Once that's done, um, so the tools import file manager is now up to date again, uh, and there's my component that I can then go and place and do what I need to go and do um, for the design. 